Reading Pioneers is proud to present Stories of the Red Rat and the Red Hen, Volume 7, by Linda von Wartburg. The Red Rat Campaigns The Red Rat comes out of his den. He goes looking for the Red Hen. I can't get to sleep, he says. I already tried counting sheep. What is troubling you, my cheese fondue? The red hen asks. I saw the wharf rat cheat, he says. When I said that it wasn't fair, he said that he didn't care. He said that cheating is okay if you can't win the legal way. He is mistaken, my piece of bacon, says the hen. Once you cheat, you have to lie. You grow perfidious and sly. You can't be trusted. Your integrity is busted. It's a slippery slope, my double egg yolk. The wharf rat doesn't care about that, says the red rat. Perhaps the reason that he doesn't is that his inner eye is shut, the hen says. He may have put it on the shelf because he's scared to see himself. When you look inside with your mind's eye, you see yourself there waving high. Maybe for him, my Cracker Jack, there's no one in there waving back. Maybe he has to build his being out of what others are seeing. Maybe that's why he has to win. And why maybe we should pity him. Now, my yellow Easter peep, return to bed and go to sleep. The next day, the red rat marches right up to the wharf rat. I want to let you know how sorry I am, he says that your inner eye is out of order. What? asked the wharf rat. I said, I am sorry that your integrity is a mess and that you are becoming perfidious, says the red rat. What? says the wharf rat. Sit down, please, the red rat says. I called this meeting to help you stop cheating. It's not okay to break the rules, even when you're going to lose. Now let's get down to business. Are you a good gymnast? How about golfing or discus throwing? Any expertise in rowing? I like melon bowling, says the wharf rat, and horse apple rolling, and dumpster diving, and dump patrolling. Let us move away from sports, the red rat says, to competitions of other sorts. Given your love of attention, you should be a politician. Here's the plan. You be the candidate for office. I'll do PR and help you be honest. What do you think? The idea doesn't stink says the wharf rat. But run for what? How about president of the Trash Lovers Union? asked the red rat. The wharf rat says, oh, as if. The competition is way too stiff. How about the Candy Appreciators Association? the red rat asks. The Road and Square Dance Coalition the Fish Carvers Guild. The Rock Scissor Paper Club? I prefer Rochambeau, says the Wharf Rat. I am pretty good at that. The Red Rat says, Bingo! You can run for president of the Rochambeauers. What shall your platform be? I suggest inclusivity. Okay says the wharf rat. 
How is this? If you cover rock with paper, vote the wharf rat for dictator. If you cut paper with scissors, vote the wharf rat. He delivers. If you smash scissors with rock, vote the wharf rat. Why not? I am not so sure, says the red rat, about using the word dictator. Otherwise, it is super fine. I will make posters. You shake hands with boaters and kiss baby gophers. If you are sincerely nice, you'll get the votes of all the mice. You'll see that we are on your side. Your sickly psyche will revive. Your inner eye will come alive. When you look inside again, you'll see a presidential rat with friends. Now let me go home to make the posters. You go be nice to all the voters. The Red Rat in Winter It is midwinter! The fireplace is bright! The Red Hen is threading cranberries and popcorn onto a string. The Red Rat is dancing and singing around the house. Winter makes me want to shout, kick my heels up and shout, stick my tail out and shout, throw my head back and shout. Most things make you want to shout, says the hen. The rat skips up to the hen. He bends at the waist until his nose hits his knees. He waves his arm in a twirly way. In a deep voice, he says, May I ask you to join me in the hokey pokey? The pleasure would be mine, says the hen. They put their right foot out, they put their right foot in. They put their right foot out and they shake it all about. They do the hokey pokey and they turn themselves around. They get so dizzy that they both fall down. Oh my goodness, says the hen. It must be hot chocolate time again. They feel happy. Thank you, pioneers, for reading with us today to the book Red Rat and Red Hen, Volume 7, by Lydia Von Warford. Comment below your thoughts about the stories. How did I do at singing? Linda has been gracious for letting me read her stories here on my channel, and I am so thankful. Red Rat has learned many valuable lessons from Red Hen, but what I like most was how supportive Red Rat was. Many times when people learn about others' behavior, we tend to ignore it, shame it, or judge it. However, Red Rat comforted the Wharf Rat by being supportive and encouraging. I hope these are lessons everyone can learn from and follow. Speaking of following, Linda has her own YouTube channel where she also reads her books. I highly recommend visiting her channel because Listening to a book being written by the author can give you more insight into how the book was intended to be read. You can also follow Linda on Amazon and purchase your own copies of her books to read in your library. Both links are available in the description box down below. If you have a book you'd like to be read on this channel, please send me an email contact at leadingpioneers.com and we can turn it into the next read aloud. Also, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to stay updated when the next video gets published. Unfortunately, this is it for today. While waiting for the next upload, you can check out Red Rat and Red Hen Volume 6 on the left and Part 2 of Volume 7 on the right. Thanks again, readers, for joining us today, and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.